Welcome to Rax Infotech. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share uh, exact data related admin uh, commands in lab perspective. Also, you, those will help uh, when you start learning exact data. So, how you're going to manage or administration of your exact data, compute nodes and cell nodes related things. Also, what kind of version uh, of exact data software which you have and uh, other tools. Lot more, I mean, many uh, more. Uh, Commands which are useful on regular administration, Excel data, database administration. Before that, uh, this is our Rax Infotech YouTube channel. And uh, if you are new to this channel, uh, I'm just giving you high level. And through this channel, I'm going to share all the Oracle database, Apps DBA, Cloud DBA, Excel data, Golden Gate, OEM related knowledge. If uh, you are like looking for any kind of entry support and other things, uh, you will read more information as well, entry question and answers also. If you need more help, career planning, or if you want to switch a job and all, if you need any uh, suggestions, reach out to Rax Infotech. We will help you on it. Oh, thank you. Okay. Let us uh, continue with our today's topic. As I said, exact data commands, uh, which are helpful for database, I mean, exact data database administrations. Also, if you are uh, having experience on uh, infra side as well, uh, there are some couple of uh, real time. Uh, commands as well we are going to see these are all command line interface commands uh, where we are going to manage it okay first thing is uh even one of my student recently is uh, went for interview and they asked which is your grid version which is your main exit data software version how it, how do you find exit data software version there are multiple ways guys where we can able to find out these are all the some of the examples okay so first go with check database node and OS versions. It's normal like standard command where we can able to see it. Uh, cat etc release, Oracle life and release also we can able to see it. And uh, you can able to see this uh, particularly database uh, version that is banner with, I mean, uh, select banner for video version also another view that is another thing. And OS level if you want to know the if you are using Linux flavor related things, right? You name if an R, uh, you can use it. So this is OS level, you can able to see it and the release of OS version, you can able to see this part as well. Or I can release for your uh, uh, database versions and uh, even you can go with the ban like V dollar version command as well. Okay, this is high level guys. And exit data, how you're going to find what is your exit data software version. This is the standard and uh, straightforward like one line command where you can able to get your uh, database exit data version. So you can use info, I mean image info is a command where you will get the current exit data version. Also you can see kernel version, image means your exit data software version and when it has been activated and image status is success or failure. So that we will get more information guys so if somebody will ask you how to find we can use image info is the command uh, where you can get exact data software version okay and then how do you find that stay i mean your cell version or storage cell version you can use each and every uh, storage server i mean when you are going to connect with individual cell Okay, using you can use directly the cell user ID and password there you can connect it or else you can use this command. Cell CLI space hyphen E in double code list cell details. It will give you the details like what is our host name, the storage cell host name and the version. What is the cell storage cell version as well. So you will get all those informations by using this cell CLI command hyphen E editing. Or you can use this cell CLI hyphen E a list cell attribute names release versions as well multiple ways as i said right you have some tools where you can execute it there also you'll get it but this is a high level interview perspective for uh what i can say quick recap or something and then next one is check flash cache and smart scan uses how the smart scan is using in your uh, how it the uses of the smart scan in your exact data right and the flash cache another feature where you have x8m uh, these features you can able to use same cell CLI command because the smart scan is 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 placed or worked in your uh, storage cell location. That's where we are going to use cell CLI hyphen e list flash cache details or you can use metric uh, current where object is with flash cache related. 
So it's going to say the size is this much and the mode is right back and the user space is 2.8. Out of 3.2 TB, it is 2.8 TB is used. I'm giving in an example and in your environment, how that uses and all you can able to get those details. These are all like here and there, there could be some uh, mismatching will be there, but end of the day, if you want, you will get all those cells CLI, uh, iPhone help related commands, you will get all the list of commands which we need to use under cell CLI. Okay, cell means your storage cell, command line interface. Okay, check exadata disk status individually. Okay, grid disk, we have multiple disk in your uh, uh, exadata, right? We do have our, uh, what I can say, ASM kind of grid software related. So check cell cell life knee, list, everything you, you have to do it is a list, cell disk, physical disk, grid disk. Those status you can able to see it. Or else you have one more like list grid attribute names, ASM, mode state and size of that everything you can able to say it but in your uh regular or uh, non-exaggerated databases where you can able to see it asm cmd lsdg those kind such kind of commands we are going to use it but here we have storage we call it as a cell and uh, the way we get the information different commands that's where we are going to learn here okay check smart scan efficiency via matrix Okay, you can use everything like cell CLI is the one thing where you want to check entire your uh, storage cell versions and usage, smart scan related and cache, uh, what I can say, this one, right? Flash cache related things, all those you can use cell CLI is a command, line utility. IRM, input, output, resource manager, how you are going to check the configuration is good or not. Use this cell CLI list. IRM plan details so that it will give you the blueprint. That that's all of our uh, cell storage related things. And then now we are going to use a exa CLI. It will check everything in your um, compute node. It means your database nodes and storage nodes or cell nodes. So no need to connect individual nodes. If you don't want to connect individual nodes, then you can use exa CLI. Cluster wide version, you, you can able to see it from compute node. If you are going to execute exa CLI root hyphen p and the password list cell attribute no need to connect to the cell cell i command from the compute node itself you can able to get those information and one more thing is dcli database command line interface where you will get specific compute node information on that okay so we can use this dcli or exa cli these commands and we have cell cli as well so these three are the different different uh, types of commands where we are going to interact with our exadata servers and get the information and how you are going to check the hardware inventory ipmi tool fiu is a command where you will get your uh, hardware inventory related information and uh, rpms exadata patching level like which level you are in you, you do have standard document where you will get up to date patches related to the exadata softwares okay storage software and uh, infra like uh, network related software and also, right? If you can use RPM iPhone QA, pipe grep iPhone I, Exadata, it will give you the, the level of that patching on Exadata pins. And check Exadata component summary, image info where you will get, as I said, right? Uh, you can Exadata versions and all. Image history also, you can able to get the previous information. Ah, the same thing, direct comments, you can use these two, or you can use D, DBM CLI or DB CLI and cell CLI commands where you will get image versions and release versions, DB server attributes, including those things. Okay, that uh, they might, in interview perspective, right? Either you can use this information or you can use this command also, that is fine. And run exa check for uh, complete health and version. Even sometimes, right, when you, if you are not recalling these commands as part of your interview, if you're, somebody is asking what is an exa data version, how you're going to find out. If you can give exa check, right? It, it, what, they, what they will ask you is uh, exa check will gather a lot more information. Do we have any other command where you will get in one line or two lines of statements, right? And for that, you can use image info. If you're not recalling at that, at that moment, you can use exa check. Exa check is the complete health and version in summary of the, your exa data. So no need to like recall all these things at the time, okay? But in real time, when you are trying to work, 
we have to recall all these in DBCLI, DB, MCLI, CLCLI, all those things as part of our regular administration jobs. Okay, coming to this exact check hyphen A command, what it is going to do, see here, we can able to see our uh, DB node image version, cell image version, grid patch level version, database patch level. These are all showing like PSV, right? Now we have RU kind of an RU, RU related things, right? So guys, we have different uh, software versions for our XR data software, cell image versions, and the database and grid is as usual like our uh, traditional database and grid versions how we are going to use, those will be there, okay? That is the high level thing. This is not a specific thing. We can able to get a lot more information with exa check. And the uh, summary of exa data versions and uh, commands till now what we have discussed. So here we have image where you need to execute this, connected to DB node and execute image info, connected to your storage cell and execute cell CLI, and connect to both via exas CLI. This exas CLI will give you, as I said, right? No need to connect to DB node or no need to connect with cell node. Any one of the node is fine. Not individually you're going to connect and execute it, right? So this is an high level uh, uh, information what we have learned till now. These are the majority of the commands. We have another couple of uh, commands as well. We'll try to cover in our upcoming sessions. Yeah, that's all about this uh, today's session, guys. If it is useful, you can, uh, Subscribe our YouTube channel, Rackton for Tech. Okay. If you have any queries, make a comment it so that I'll go with uh, your comment and then I'll try to answer as much as possible. Thank you. Have a good day.